you like this look? I hope you like this look. What up? <laughs> How's the honey beauty bees? It's me, Byron Shears, Busy Bee, your gay bae. Yeah. And I'm back with another video here on our channel. You guys, this feels so weird, but so good. So comfortable all at the same time. I'm so glad that I've gotten around to be able to film a video for you guys. So already clicked on this video. You saw the title of this video. I'm gonna be trying out some new products. Um, some new products to the channel that's new to the channel and also some new products as in like new releases new things that are buzzing in the community right now you guys already know it's we are in holiday season holiday season is already here i'm starting to see christmas trees uh black friday flyers so you guys we are already here although we're not in the thick of it just yet we are most certainly in, um, entering into the holiday season. And so with that being said, you already know there are gonna be multiple, multiple releases, okay? Sometimes even from the same brand, okay? So there will be a lot of new makeup coming up. And I just kind of wanted to get ahead of the makeup brush and come to you guys and bring you some new products, test some new products out, try some new products out. I'm not gonna do a voiceover, you know, I'm just talking through the video, I'm just chilling. You guys, wait until I can get my swing back. It's been a minute, like it's literally been like three months, three, four months since I've sat down and filmed a video for you guys, so. Please hang in here with me. Thank you for stopping back by to indulge in me. I really, 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 really appreciate you for stopping back by our channel. I hope you are a part of the notification gang. If you are not a part of the notification gang, like what are you waiting for? Like, are you really a beauty bee? You know what I mean? In order for you to be a beauty bee, you have to be subscribed to our channel. Make sure you click the button next to it and comment down below, hashtag beauty bee. That lets me and everyone else here know that you are a part of the hive and welcome <laughs> we'd love to have you over here <laughs> yeah i'm here i've recorded something and hopefully you guys want to see it so if you are interested in some of the new products not all of the new products of course i could not put all of the new products that i've been receiving into one video so if you guys want to see some of the new products that i have received and want to watch me test them out then stick around you're in the right place let's go Okay, so you guys already know what the video is about. We are going to get into some new and newer products in this video, okay? So, Benefit Cosmetics, they sent over this new product. It's called Powmade. Can you guys see? You can't even see that. Okay, you can see it now. <laughs> they sent over Powmade, and I have um, 4 and 4.5. They also sent over this really cute brush. So we're going to be using this brush today. The product is extremely soft. It's extremely creamy and soft, and I really, really like that. I'm trying my best not to go in too heavy, though, because pomades on my brows, they can tend to, like, fill my brows up relatively quickly, like, really, really quickly. As you guys can see, like, I have full brows, but I can always use a little help, so... I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna use this product, I'm gonna push it in, and I'm gonna start relatively on the ends of the brows. Okay, so here's my brow with the pomade and my brow without the pomade. I really like it. I wanna see how it's gonna hold up as I do my makeup. So I'm gonna go in and use Cabral on this eye and then we'll go back to finishing the brows and I'll show you what I like to use from Benefit. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna use the Precisely My Brow Pencil in 4.5. I really, really, really love this pencil, y'all. Like, this pencil is amazing and it already comes with a spoolie. So it's really, really good. And it has a cover to keep it um, well protected and sanitized, especially in traveling. I love that. Precisely my brow. I love, 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 love these pencils. And I highly, highly recommend them. 
So now to finish off my brows, I'm just gonna use the 24 hour brow setter also from Benefit Cosmetics. I really like using just a clear brow gel because I don't have any issues uh, with sparsity in the hair of my brows. So this really works for me. And I really, really love and enjoy the one from Benefit Cosmetics. All right, you guys, so we're gonna prime using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I really, really like this one, especially if you have dry skin or aging skin. And once it becomes tacky, that's when you know you're ready to go. Okay, y'all, so foundation, we are gonna step out and I'm gonna use some new foundation that OPB Beauty sent me. OPB is a company that I really like. They support me so very much. So shout out to you, OPB. I have so much love for you guys. They sent me quite a bit of product. So I'm gonna use as much as I possibly can in today's video and you guys will see more of their products um, in future videos. So yeah, OPB sent over their stick foundation. They sent me five and four. Four. four is the color I'm gonna go in with. So let's try this out and keep our fingers crossed. So my foundation brush for today is gonna be the Airbrush Kabuki Brush, the F85 from Sigma. Y'all, this brush is super duper soft and I love how rounded it is. It's gonna be perfect for brushing in a stick foundation. I'm gonna apply the foundation to my hand and then onto the brush and then onto my face. And the color looks pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna start in the middle and work my way out. Okay, OPV. And I'm using a stick foundation today because I just, I don't want that super heavy coverage. Not today, I'm not looking for that. I've been like really into my skincare. So again, onto my hand. And this is a great way to have lighter coverage. For those of you who like minimal makeup, you don't want to pile it on. You can always start off on your hand first and then apply it to the skin, which is a great trick. I love to do it with blushes as well. Oh, that's kind of cute. All right, I'm going to go directly onto the stick since it's warm now for my hands. Okay, even more coverage. Mm. Okay, OPV. The color is nice. It's a little olive, but I'm definitely gonna work it out with a cream bronzer and then powder bronzer and then a concealer. But you know, not so bad. Not bad at all. OPV stick foundation with nothing on it. It looks pretty darn good. I would want a darker shade, but yeah, it looks good. Now with my Juvia's Place number four concealer, and I am going to use a OPB sponge. Super, super cute. Just to kind of buff that out. You see how the sponge just flawlessly knocks that out? This concealer is taking well to the stick foundation. I really, really like that. And to warm up around my forehead, I'm going to use Abijan from Juvia's Place. It's really, really creamy. That's why I love, 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 love these. To the sponge. And then from the sponge, we're gonna go right into the forehead. And as you can see, immediately, it's going to start warming me up. So there we go. I love that so much. What do you want? I love the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. It is the bomb if you have not tried these yet. Y'all are asleep. You can use my discount code B, all caps, to save on anything at JuviusPlace.com. But in particular, these concealers are amazing. You can also stop by your local Ulta if you guys want to pick them up. If you're not really sure uh, what color you are, I would suggest just stopping by your local Ulta and picking one up. And then when you want to get more, because of course, you're definitely gonna wanna get more. Trust me when I tell you. You can go onto the website and use my discount right, code. New products, so OPB sent over their setting powders, and I've heard a lot about these setting powders, you guys. I've never tried them, so I'm excited to see what they're gonna give today. I have medium and I also have deep. I'm gonna put the medium in my T-zone area, and then the deep is gonna go everywhere else. So let's try this and see what it's gonna give. I'm gonna use a Real Techniques powder brush, I guess it is eye powder brush I don't know but I love this brush for setting super super cute you guys have seen it everywhere and then I'm gonna go right in and set it so I'm not sure how this powder is gonna do 
So I'm just really gonna press this powder underneath the eye and basically everywhere I wanna keep light. Hmm. I'm kinda liking it. Okay, so I thought I was gonna use the deep OPV powder, but it's really, really deep. Like, it's this is definitely gonna be too deep for my skin. So I'm not going to use it. However, I'm gonna save it because I have an inkling that it's gonna be perfect on my mom and she'll probably love that. So I'm gonna save that. Instead, I'm gonna go in with my tried and true. As you guys can see, like it's literally, it's almost finished. Like I am literally almost out of this powder, but the deep peach from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Sorry girls, this is my tried and true. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a lot lighter. Um, but it's deeper than this medium, kind of like banana color that I have underneath my eye. So it's it should pair perfect. Let's see. Powder <laughs> everywhere. Oh my God. Yeah, as you can see, the deep peach from Anastasia Beverly Hills, especially if you're like me, you have like more of a medium skin tone. It's definitely what you want so just take a few minutes just to press again like I said just pressing down into the skin uh, you can use any powder puff to get this done all right y'all so I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring not a whole whole lot but Juvia's Place came out with this new eye sculpt eye shade so it's a powder but it's a sculpting powder and you can sculpt anything like you can sculpt your brows you can contour with it I tried contouring with this and I literally fell in love so this is something that I think you guys should really really check out the price point is great the quality is amazing Juvia's Place you already know so if you still like contouring whether you contour your nose um, if you need a bit of powder for your eyes you can even use this as eyeshadow you guys and um, I really really think this is something you should consider and check out so I'm gonna go in with this cooler deeper brown this shade here is what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this old Mac angle brush I don't even know which one it is y'all already know how Mac brushes do but you have to be careful with this powder because it comes off a lot darker than what it seems but y'all I'm just gonna put a wee little bit in the hollows I love it so much my only gripe about this powder is I wish it came in a full size. Um, I feel like this is kind of small, but I guess the plus to that is a little goes a long way. As you guys can see, I literally just tapped into it. So a little bit goes a long way, but it's also really good for travel and it has a mirror on it as well. So it's a give and take. It's a give and take. So for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place, the bronze palette. This one is in tan. I really, really like this one. They're dual bronzers, a lighter one up top, and you have a warmer one, a little bit deeper at the bottom. I'm gonna use the lighter one and then go over it with the warmer. I have an old MAC brush. Um, this is a 135. The Juvia's Place bronzers are hitting. Okay, definitely worth checking out. If you guys have not tried them yet, you should try them. If you are my color, a lighter, definitely try the tan. So for eyeshadow primer, you guys, I am going to use the Clean Canvas in Cocoa from Dra Cosmetics. It's such a great product. And I'm gonna place it on the eye with this concealer brush from Sigma Beauty. It's a perfect pairing. I really, really, really love this face, you guys. And if you want to check it out, I do have a discount code with Gerard Cosmetics. And that code is B, all caps, B-E-E. -E. I try to make it easy for you guys. You can run over and check out this eyeshadow base. It definitely helps your eyeshadows pop. And it helps them last a lot longer. And it gives you a lot less creasing. And they have an assortment of shades to pick from. I personally really, really enjoy the cocoa. But depending on your skin tone, you may want to go with another shade. 
So to buff out the edges, I'm just gonna use a small Juvia's Place brush and I'm just gonna tap the edges out. I love this part, it's amazing. Definitely check this space out. All right, we got our eyes primed and they're ready to go. So whatever is left on that under eye powder brush, I'm just going to tap it onto the eye. And again, I'm not gonna dip it in powder because we're gonna use shadows. So whatever is left on that brush, you just wanna tap it onto the eye. It's not gonna remove all of the stickiness of the base, but it's definitely gonna help later on when we go to blending out the shadows. I'm going to jump into the new Bloom. Can you guys see it? The new Bloom palette from OPV Beauty. And y'all, can we just take a moment for how gorgeous this palette is? Like, this palette is absolutely, absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take a few colors from here just to give myself just a nice, neutral, glam, I, I don't want to do anything too crazy. I might put a little color um, underneath the lower lash line. So I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so actually you guys, I'm gonna start off with the color Heart. And I'm just gonna blow that out using a E38 Diffused Crease Brush by Sigma. And again, I'm gonna use back and forth motions I don't want to pack it because I really want a soft look. I don't want anything that's going to be just too heavy and harsh. That's just not the look we're going for on today. And I don't want something that's going to be jam-packed with a bunch of color either. So, yeah. This color is beautiful. It's like a really nice terracotta. It's like a terracotta, like a soft terracotta brown. It's beautiful. And of course, it is blending out like a dream. I'm gonna try my best not to use more than three colors for this eye look. I said I was going to try, okay? I'm gonna try my best not to use more than three colors on this eye look. But this initial color is very pretty. I'm gonna go in on a smaller brush. This is a E36 blending brush, also from Sigma Beauty. And now I'm gonna go into Flow because I said I wanted something, something, which this may be a little bit more burgundy, I guess. Let's see what it's given. This is really, really nice. I like the color. With no extra product, I'm just gonna go in and use the initial brush with the color Heart as well. I'm just gonna kinda go back and forth with these two. The color payoff is there and they blend well together. It's giving me though like a deep aubergine now that I'm building the color up. It's not as chocolate as I thought I wanted, but still very nice. All right, so I did the other side. I did end up dipping down into Dicea. I don't know necessarily how to say that word. I don't know, Dicea, I don't know. I'll run into Google. I dipped down just a little bit on that same brush and just kind of deepened up the outer V and underneath. And it's really, really pretty. It's a really nice color to a black alternative. So if you like it a bit deeper, um, I can see why they put it in this palette. It's very, very pretty. So I just used a little bit of that. And of course, I kept going back and forth with Heart Faux. So I used one, two, three. Kind of basic. I told you guys we're going to keep it kind of new, kind of natural. Not natural, neutral. <laughs> and still very fall. I wanted something extremely fall like actually. So. I'm gonna put Bleeding Heart on the lid, and I'm gonna do that by using my finger. Typically, you guys know I don't really like to, woo! Okay, okay. Oh, that's bomb. I wish my cameras would pick it up. You guys do not see it the way that I see it because I'm looking on my monitor, but wow. Bleeding Heart, how beautiful beautiful how beautiful is this color and it's not like a traditional gold either it's like a taupey tanny kind of 
Botanical is beautiful. I'm pretty sure this brush is not for this purpose, but whatever, it's my brush. I can do what I want, okay? So I'm gonna use this MAC 194 brush, and I'm gonna go right back into this gold bleeding heart, and I'm just gonna put it, and I'm just gonna create a crease without cutting a crease, if that makes sense. Because I want it to be a lot softer. And because I have hooded lids, I'm gonna go a bit higher in the front of the eye than I am towards the end, which will just naturally give me more of that cat eye effect that I love to do. This is everything. This color is beautiful. Okay, on my same small blending brush, I'm just gonna go and kind of clean up just around with no extra product. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this liner from OPB Beauty. Y'all, OPB have some amazing, amazing liquid liners, like glitter liners. And I'm gonna go in with this brown one. And we are, I'm not gonna do a wing, but I am gonna line in a cat eye effect. Okay, y'all, so I use the glitter liner. The reason why I don't normally use glitters on my channel is because they just really don't translate, right? So this looks really, really pretty in person, but on camera, you guys can't see that because all of these lights are like really, really washing it away. But trust me when I tell you, the glitter liners from OPB Beauty are gorgeous in this brown one. Bomb. Okay, I like the brown, I like the orange, and I also love the blue. It's a couple more colors that I love, um, but those are the ones that really, really stand out to me. They have 30 shades between glitter and metallics, so definitely check them out, and I'll link them down below. So I'm going to finish underneath the eye. I'm going to use this tulip, this tulip color. This is the short shade of brush, the E20 from Sigma. This purple deserves its own moment. I'm gonna swipe this powder away. I'm going to do my lashes and I'll be back for the inner corner of the blush and the lip. Pretty much finished the eyes. If you guys can see, I really, really like them. I tried to do something simple, subtle. I don't know if it's either one of those things. Let me know down in the comments below. But this is what I came up with using the Bloom palette from OPB. I love it. And the purple I put underneath the eye is Tulip. It's stunning. So yeah, I love it. Hyaluronic Acid hydrating lip gloss from Sigma. When it comes down to this look, I really don't want a whole lot of color on the lips. I just like a sheer finish gloss with shimmer in it. I prefer bronze shimmer, bronzy shimmer glosses, but this one will do, I think, just fine. It's really pretty. Yeah, I like it a lot. That's pretty, and you can use my discount code BEAUTYBEE, all caps to save on sigma.com and i love this lip gloss you cannot feel the glitter in it it's not gritty and it really 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 hydrates the lips and i love that literally everything that i use like everything that i use will be tagged um, and all of my discount codes will be available to you down below with links thank you so much I do get a little kickback from it, but it really helps me. It really helps this channel and it helps me push through. So I thank you and I appreciate it and make sure you check that out. 
So lastly, for blush, I want to go ahead and use this new blush that I received from Code Rain, of course, with the new brush. How cute is this brush? You guys, Colored Rain has some really, really nice brushes. So if you're looking for a new brush set or you just want to extend your collection, go ahead and check them out. But I want to use this blush. Everyone is talking about this cream blush, okay? So it also has hyaluronic acid in this blush. It's supposed to be extremely emollient, creamy, but it doesn't like move your foundation. So I really want to try this one out. This is called Spicy. And although it's an orange, I feel like it will complement this look. Whoa. Whoa, that's pretty bright. I think it'll complement this look fairly well. So, whoa. Oh, that's bomb. It's definitely not picking up any foundation. Oh, it looks bomb. I'm gonna put some across my nose just to be extra. All right, color ring. I'm just gonna work off of what's on my hand. Um, oh, okay. Definitely see you. Oh, I love this, and I love the brush. The brush fits and grips the face perfectly. You see that? Oh, that's bomb. And I think orange blush looks good literally on everyone. I can't think of a single person that wouldn't look good. Uh, the orange blush. This is bomb, y'all. But y'all know Color Rain is like very much top tier. Um, it's like boutique makeup. She gives. She gives exactly what she's supposed to, and we really appreciate that from her. Okay, I love this. I love this a lot. This works for me. If you made it this far into the video, you are most certainly the true winner. You are a beauty bee. Thank you so much much you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i tried to use a lot of brand new products i do have more brand new products so if you like videos like this if you guys just want me to kind of sit down and vibe and play with new products leave it in the comment section down below i will pull out a bunch of new products that i've been receiving um coming up i want to do something with the anastasia norvina they've been really doing a lot over there i feel like all the girls have like been doing a lot it's me that haven't been doing much moving um it's just been a lot going on you guys i i can't even tell you and it's been more emotionally than physically but you know it's still really i don't know it's starting to take a toll on me but i'm gonna find my happy place again thank you all so much for coming back to enjoy and indulge on our channel for those of you who are consistently riding with me on this inconsistent ride um of mine thank you so much i really appreciate it um let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below so i can try to knock that out for you again thank you all so very much Anything you want to know, anything you need to know is going to be in the description box down below. So make sure you check there on your way out. And yeah, I don't have anything else to say. I really, really do hope you like this look. I like this look a lot. I, I just put on some little Ardell lashes and I called it a night, okay? So I hope I didn't leave anything out. You guys know how it is when you're filming yourself. Some things just kind of sort of don't make it to the tape. It's just like that. I wish it wasn't. Um, at some point, I'm sure I will not be filming myself. But um, as for now, I'm doing what I can do. And yeah, all information, all of my social media links, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, and on Facebook. I'm not on Twitter right now. Twitter really, really tried me. Like, they really, really tried me. I don't know what I have to do to get my Twitter back. Um, but yeah, Twitter deleted my account. So I'm no longer over there. I am on, of course, Instagram. TikTok and Facebook. I will leave all those links down below. And yeah, I just want to give you guys a hug. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for stopping back by. And I'll see you soon. So like I always say, and I always will say, love and light, but most of all, be beautiful. <laughs> Later.